Hi, welcome to How to Speak American. I'm Nick, and we're going to be learning some millennial slang. Now, I actually don't usually teach slang, usually just idioms or colloquial common speech, because slang can go in and out. Sometimes it'll be cool, sometimes it won't be cool. But today I just thought, screw it, I'm just going to have some fun. So, we're going to learn slang terms that millennials use that you can still use today and not look foolish. Unlike the word hip, which, if you didn't already know, meant cool back in 1995. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one, flex. Okay, this, this is one of my favorites. So flex is basically showing off. So this can be a noun or a verb. If you're flexing on somebody, it means you're trying to show off. Maybe you're driving a fancy car or you're wearing some expensive dress and jewelry. That's a flex, you're showing off. Look at that guy, he's flexing like he owns the world, driving fancy cars, wearing lots of jewelry, he's flexing. The next one, salty. Okay, so salty is the same as bitter. <laughs> and if you don't know, bitter means sour. And if you don't know what any of those mean, it just basically means you're unhappy or you feel like you were slighted by somebody else. So you're like, hmm, I'm salty. It's my birthday and she forgot. And she didn't even get me a cake or anything. So, you know, I'm salty. Okay, so lit is essentially any wild party with drinking or you can even be lit yourself. So it's like, oh yeah, how's the party going, man? Oh yeah, I'm lit, dude. I'm so lit, oh, this party is so lit. Everything's lit. And the next one. Yes! This is something you can say when you hear something great, like, oh, I just got free tickets to the concert. Yes! It's like just like a weird way of saying yes. Or if your friend says, hey, you know what we should do? We should go to Las Vegas. Yes! I love that word. Okay, uh, low key. Low key is kind of like, kinda. Actually, before it became slang, it meant something similar, like, not too much. Uh, let's. We're trying to be low key. I don't want to make too much noise. I don't want to make a scene. Let's let's be low key. But now it just means kind of like. Uh, I don't like what he said to me. I'm low key pissed. I'm low key upset at him. Uh. <laughs> so your bae is like your boyfriend or your girlfriend. It basically means before anyone else. So it's your most important person. Usually, yeah, boyfriend or girlfriend. But that's my bae, she's my bae. Are there any bays in the club? No, I'm just kidding, okay. Next, <laughs> AF. So AF stands for as fuck, which is just a really crass way to say very. I'm hungry as fuck. I'm mad as fuck. I'm, I'm tired as fuck. A lot of people say that, I'm tired as fuck. Let's go home. Um, thirsty. Thirsty just means you're really horny. A lot of guys will be in the club and then girls will say, ugh, let's go home. I don't want to be here. It's just a bunch of thirsty guys in here. So they're just horny. They're trying to find girls to sleep with, that kind of thing. But it can work for guys or girls. Anybody can be thirsty. All right, so those are eight millennial slang phrases. So get out there and slay with your new American slang and impress the hell out of your American friends. Oh, and stay tuned for next week because I'm gonna give you eight more millennial slang phrases for those of you who just can't get enough slang. All right, see you later. Oh yeah, and here's two other videos you can check out that I made that may help you with your English while you wait for next week's episode.